Welcome back here to our workshop here at Howard Piano Industries. Um, we're going to be showing you how to today um, adjust uh, the lost motion on a spinet piano. Okay, we had a previous video on um, uh, that we made quite some time ago on re uh, adjusting the lost motion on a on a vertical or console um, or upright piano. Uh, it's a little bit different on a spinet piano. The, the co basic concept is the same. But um, but the way that you make the adjustment is a little bit different. On a on a regular uh, here we're we've got a spinet piano action in front of us. Now, as you can see, the uh, backs of the keys um, are stopped short of going be able to go underneath the action. So the whole action is dropped down below the backs of the keys, except for of course the hammers are above. But uh, you know the the hammer butts and the whippins and and so forth those are all below the level of the backs of the keys and that's they do that so they can make the piano shorter uh, for space um, and makes it makes the piano a little bit less expensive so they used to make uh, spinet pianos they don't really make them anymore that I know of um, and haven't for a number of years but um, there's still a lot of spinet pianos out there so we're going to show you today how to make the adjustment on on uh, lost motion on um, on a spinet piano action. Okay, and so if you watched our previous video on um, adjusting lost motion on a vertical piano, you know that the keys that go all the way underneath the backs of the back of the action, and uh, the back of the key pushes up on um, on the bottom of the action part and makes the hammer go forward. And um, the way that you adjust that is on the back of the key, uh, you would take the key out, and on the back of the key there's what's called a capstan. It's usually brass or sometimes it's wood. Um, but you turn that, which raises or lowers it, um, to adjust... Um, you know how high it high or high how high or how low it is, um, which adjusts how soon or late um, it pushes up on the on the hammer butt, um, which pushes the hammer forward. So, um, and you you might find our video on how a piano action works um, to be helpful if you're unfamiliar with some of these these different uh, terminology on on, um, on how a, how a, the action of a piano works so you want to watch that if you if you're not familiar with that but here we're going to go and show you on on the back of this what happens um, and we're going to get a little, get you a little bit closer here so you can see a a little bit better view of uh, how the action works here um, we're here we're looking uh, from above we've got right here We've got the the lifter grommet, okay, and that goes into a fork at the end of the key. I can push that out. You can see there's a there's a fork there, and this is just a rubber grommet that um, locks into the to the back of the key, okay. And then, as you can see, there's a there's a rod or a wire, which is right here, that goes down to uh, what's called an elbow. Um, and that gets attached to the whippin. So by pushing down on the front of the key, okay, that uh, it balances on this balance rail pin, and it makes the back of the key go up. So as I push the key, the front of the key down, the front of the key is going down, the back of the key is going up, and what it does is it raises um, the lifter wire, which pulls up on the whippin. Which raises, pushes up on the ham, the jack, and pushes the hammer butt up, which makes the hammer go forward and strike the string. Okay, and there's a little more detail in that uh, on how the piano action works. But today we're primarily going to show you how to adjust the uh, lost motion. Okay, what what lost motion is um, is uh, the amount of play or the amount of the movement that the front of the key makes before the hammer starts moving which it should be uh, little to no movement at all okay now you don't want it to be where um, the hammer is if it's if it's what's called negative lost motion the hammer is going to be sitting up here so that you know so that it might be up up this much so that the hammer shank's not resting on the hammer rest rail okay so the way to adjust that is you we're going we're going to just turn this um this this rubber grommet here okay now sometimes they're square sometimes they're uh round rubber grommets um and then they'd have a uh like a 
plastic nut like this one right here. Okay, I've got this one. This is from a different piano, but um, it's got this plastic nut here. So, so either way, you're gonna you're gonna turn it. If you turn it, um, if you turn it uh, counterclockwise, it's gonna raise the um, raise the the grommet, which is going to um, make it so that you've got more lost motion if you need if you've got too much lost motion then you need to turn it clockwise which is going to lower the grommet and actually raise the the lifter wire okay so what i'm going to do here this one's actually adjusted pretty good so i'm going to raise it here to to put in lots of uh lost motion so we can see for an example okay so now here i'm i'm pushing on the key and what what, you, what we want to do is look at the movement of the back check, which is this piece right here, okay, and that's that's kind of a good guide to see. That's a lot of movement, okay, which means the key is moving way more than it should, um, you know, before it starts to engage the hammer butt, okay. So I'm I'm doing all that movement without the hammer butt moving, okay. Right here is the catcher, okay, and you can watch that. And you can see that the back check is doing all that movement without the catcher moving. Okay, now if I do go it a little bit further, you can see the catcher starts to move. Okay, but when the key is at rest, now if I go to the one right next to it, okay, you can see it wiggling. Okay, which is which is about the right amount. Okay, you want it to wiggle just a just a little tiny bit. Okay, without the hammer butt moving. But if I go very far at all. Okay, then I can make that hammer butt move. Okay, if you don't have any movement at all, it means you probably um, need to put a little bit of lost motion or a little um, little extra um, motion um, in that in that uh, adjustment. Okay, so and the other thing you can check here too is if you pull back on this um, hammer rest rail, and I watch the hammers as I do this. Uh, you probably can't see that in the video, but I, I can see it. What happens is those hammers should fall back just a little bit as you tug back. You know, it's not the hammer rest rail is not going to move much because it's resting on on these posts right here. But um, you know, you can you can get it to move a little bit. And if you if you pull back on that, and those hammers don't move at all, that means uh, you need to put a little bit of um, you know, a little bit of lost motion into your keys. So. That's the basics of uh, of of and and what what I've got here. This is um, I've got a combination tool handle, and this is our Kimball lost motion regulator, which is the you know the tool that's designed for for using on these square um, rubber lifter grommets. Okay, if you've got if you've got this um, this one's called a Baldwin wire finger nut, and that's um, you know that one you can usually they they they'll move you can turn them by hand the square rubber lifter grommets are pretty tough to to turn by hand they can be done but it's tough on the fingers so um having that uh, Kimball lost motion regulator is um is helpful okay and it's not just for Kimball pianos i mean this is a story in Clark piano uh so it's whatever whatever piano has these square rubber lifter grommets. Okay, the Baldwin wire finger nuts, which of course are not only for Baldwin pianos, but they call them that, uh, that can be adjusted with a quarter inch um, drive socket. Okay, so quarter quarter inch uh, driver. So that's what um, what is used to adjust that if you can't use your fingers, but usually those um, Baldwin finger nuts can be adjusted by hand. So um, hopefully the video has been helpful for you. It uh, shows you how to how to make adjustments. Um, again, you want to adjust it so that you've got just a little bit of um, of wiggle in that back check, like this one. Okay, before the hammer butt starts moving. Okay, again, this is too much. Okay, so again, and we'll put that back. I can show you as we adjust that. I'm going to turn it down. Let's see what uh, that still needs to be adjusted more. There we go. That's that's pretty good. Oh, and I can, can still move. Um, the hammer still moves when I pull back on the hammer rest rail. So, uh, any questions, uh, feel free to let us know. Um, our website is howardpianoindustries.com. Feel free to leave a comment or question um, and are here on our YouTube channel.